All right, guys. So in this YouTube video, we're gonna be I'm gonna be explaining absolute value. Although this is not really a requested video, I do see like many kids not understanding how to solve inequalities or just under I mean not inequalities, but solving equations or inequalities that deal with absolute value. And many people don't even know what absolute value is, so when they see this symbol right here, they get confused. So let me begin. So let's. this is the intro to absolute value. You guys understand this already. You guys can move on to solving equations. But what is, what are absolute values? So you see this symbol right here, This these two lines that look like 11, and then you have a number in between these two lines. So what does this represent? This represents the value be from zero to X. So what do I mean? So let's look on the number line. So let's just say we have zero and we have a positive number X. So what is the difference between these two values, x minus zero, or in other words, it's just x. On the other hand, that's why we get x. On the other hand, we have negative x. So what is the difference between zero to negative x? It is also x, right? Therefore, the absolute value of negative x is x. So just think of the absolute value of a number as the difference between zero and that number, but and then you make it positive. So that's exa exactly what absolute value is. Probably most of you guys understand this already, but let's continue on. So I have two examples here. So the absolute value of 34. So what is the difference between 34 and 0 and the positive of that? So 0 minus 34 is 34. And that means the square root of, I mean, absolute value of 34 is positive 34. On the other hand, we have the square root of negative 17. So what's 0 minus 17? That's negative 17, right? 0 minus 17 is negative 17. And the positive version of negative 17 is 17. Therefore, the, positive, the absolute value of 34 is 34, and the absolute value of negative 17 is 17. So it's just that easy. Now let's move on to something a little more challenging. We have solving absolute value in equa equations. So how do we solve this equation? So as I just said, the absolute value of any number is the positive version of this. So therefore, we could break this equation down into this. Well, we could call this, so x plus 7 is equal to 4, right? That's understandable because you just removed the absolute value signs. And next, we have this equation. x plus 7 is equal to negative 4. So how did I form this equation? Because, as I said, the absolute value of x can equal to x, right? But then the absolute value of negative x can also equal to x. So therefore, that's how we got negative 4 from this situation. So now, let's just solve these two equations. We subtract 7. Therefore, x is equal to negative 3, and we subtract 7 again, and that gives us x is equal to negative 11. So our two solutions for this equation, for this absolute value equation is negative 3 and negative 11. So whenever you're solving an absolute value e equation, there are always going to be two answers, right? Because there's always going to be the positive version of the answer and the negative version. In this case, we have two negatives. That might be confusing at first, but if you guys check this out, let me try to explain this again. So the absolute value of any number is equal to x, but then the absolute value of the negative version of that number is also x. Therefore, that's how we got four and negative four, right? So let's move on to the next equation. So the absolute value of two x minus four is equal to seven. So what two equations are we gonna make? Two x minus four, is equal to 7, right? We just removed the absolute values. And what's our next equation? 2x minus 4 is equal to what? It's equal to negative 7, right? As I just said, your, your solution is always going to be the positive version and the negative version of this right here. So now we could just solve the equations. We can add 4 on both sides, giving us 2x is equal to 11. Divide both sides by 2, giving us x is equal to 11 over 2. And now let's solve the second equation. We could add 4 on both sides. 2x is equal to negative 3. Divide both sides by 2. x is equal to negative 3 over 2. And therefore, the answer for this absolute value equation is x is equal to oh, 11 over 2 and negative 3 over 2. So it's just that easy, right? You guys, it might be a little confusing when you see these two brackets or these two symbols, but it's actually, in fact, really easy, and it takes about a few seconds to solve. So now you guys know how to solve the equations for absolute value. Next, we have inequalities, which might be a little challenging to most people, but I'm going to break it down for you. So x plus 7 is greater than negative 4. Now, we can break this down to two equations, right? Because when you're solving something for a value of x, there's always going to be two answers. 
well, if only, like, pretend there's an equal sign. Because in this case, there's always going to, for these, right, the introduction questions is always going to be one answer. But for these, they're always going to be two answers. So let's break it down. So the absolute value of x plus 7 is greater than 4. Therefore, this value in here, absolute value of x, has to be greater than 4. Right? So we could break this down even further. So the absolute value of negative x has to be greater than 4, as well as the absolute value of x has to be greater than 4. So what do I mean by this? So basically, this can be broken down as negative x has to be less than negative has to be less than negative 5 right what well, i mean less than negative 4 what what you must be wondering what am i saying right now well i'm going to show you so let me show you the two equations that you're going to create using this so you're going to first create x plus 7 is greater than 4 right you remove the uh, absolute value symbols and what's our next equation going to be it's going to be x plus 7 is less than 4 is less than negative 4 why is this? Why is this true? Because if x plus 7 is less than negative 4, pretend our answer for x plus 7 is negative 5, right? The absolute value of negative 5 is greater than 4, right? Because 5 is greater than 4. Therefore, x plus 7 also has to be less than negative 4. So, if you guys understand, if you guys don't understand what concept I'm trying to use, or like my logic behind what I'm saying right now, just write it in the comments, and I'll try to explain it further in the comments. But we could solve these inequalities really easy. Subtract 7 on both sides. X is greater than negative 3. As well as subtract 7 on both sides. X is less than negative 11. And boom. That's going to be our two answers. X is greater than negative 3. And X is less than negative 11. Alright. So let's move on to our second example. For these inequalities. So now we have the absolute value of 2X minus 4 is less than 7. So as I said before. We're going to have to form two equations. But what are our two equations going to be? What are our two equations? We just remove the absolute value for one of them. So that gives us 2x minus 4 is less than 7. And for our second equation, it's going to be what? It's going to be... So think of this. What's my rationale behind thinking about this? So the absolute value of some number has to be less than 7. All right? So the absolute value of 8 is greater than 7. Right? But the absolute value of negative 8 is also... Wait. No, negative is 6. 6 is less than 7. Absolute value of 6 is less than 7. And also the value of absolute value of negative 6 is also less than 7, right? So that's how you think about it. So therefore, this is less than that, as well as square root of 2x minus 4. What am I saying? 2x minus 4 is also less than negative 7, right? Because the negative value of this can also apply for the absolute value. So my rationale behind this might be kind of confusing, but you, if you guys think about it, you guys will understand what I'm saying. Because the absolute value of 6 is less than 7, but the absolute value of negative 6 is also less than 7. So think about it that way. So that's how I got 7 and negative 7. So now I'm just going to solve these inequalities, which you guys probably know, plus 4 on both sides. 2x is less than 11. All right, divide both sides by 2x is less than 11 over 2. That's going to be our first solution. And for our second solution, plus three, plus 4 on both sides, 2x is less than negative 3 divided both sides by 2. x is less than negative 3 halves. But we're not done yet. Because why? That means that x is less than... Wait, no. Because... Alright, guys. I definitely did this wrong. You know why? Because you guys... I, I try to trick you guys because if you guys know how to do this, right? You guys would know that when it, it's absolute value, you're gonna have to switch the signs. Okay, so you're gonna have, so for example, if something is less than, you make it to. Actually, I did not trick you guys. So what do I? What did I do here? Yeah, so it means that's our answer. 